on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. What took you so long to answer me? Uh, I just finished the job. Just call someone and take over the cleanup. Bye. Wait, wait. As then Izuku leaves the premises. And, uh, I just say he's gonna need a change of clothes. Then, yeah, he drives up to this weird, uh, closed off facility. Not knowing, uh, like, okay, so this is where we're meeting this time. Yeah, whatever. Let's, let's just see how this goes. As he just approaches this one guy, Anzo. Oh, what? Are you mad that I wouldn't pick up your calls? It's not that. You should show a little bit of respect to your elders. Bring in some more money. Like I'd be doing. Then maybe, maybe I can show you a bit more respect. I've earned my respect. <laughs> not, not to me. You know, you only had all this cocky Diego just because Soto decided to take you in and you've just been doing so well. You're not always going to be his favorite. One day, and one day soon, you're going to screw up. And I'll be there to watch you pick up the pieces. Is that the rent? No. You know more uh, than anyone, don't you? Never make threats. Mm. Careful. Unless you want me part of the next cleanup. Uh. <sighs> That's enough. So, uh, you. So, what's this job? Well, it's a simple one. Just a little assassination. <laughs> really? Hanzo can do that. Those little screwing up, I think. Ah, but it's not just a, any old person. Is someone from what? Uh, the Yarozo and Toga family. Really? Yeah. But are you sure about that? Because those families are very well connected. I am. So, you, you know I trust you, Diego, but it would be in your best interest not only to go in discreetly, but to also, what? Don't get caught, finish the job, ah, it's still an assassination. Yes, I expect you to finish the job, but I don't want you getting caught. Yes, discreet, depending on how things pan out, maybe. I don't want you dying over this. But I also expect results. Understood? Uh, yes. Pussy. I'm sorry, what? Oh, nothing. It's just, uh, <laughs> I wish you much luck in your next job. Yeah. I 
wish you luck on your marriage. I, I wonder, uh, how's your wife doing? Does she, does she still uh, want to see me uh, after she told you what happened? I'm just saying, you know, sometimes, uh, you know what they say, too much of a good thing can be bad for you. That's enough. He started it. Yeah, I'm finishing it. Go. Hey, Zuko, he drives off. Why in the hell do you still keep him around? I raised him since he was a baby. Yeah. So what? He's loyal. I raised him and earned his loyalty. You idiots, all I did was pick you up and society threw you out. <laughs> I bet he still doesn't know. Of course not. If he did, I might lose that loyalty I need for him to complete his jobs. As then we cut to the next day. Right now, there's a large ass crowd. As Izuku, he's pretty much okay. I have two choices: snipe or blend in. I choose snipe as soon as I fire out the first shot, and they'll be on high alert. But blending in, that could be very much more problematic when it comes to me getting away. So many choices. One hand I could easily tear through whoever tries anything. However, I'm mulling over his choices. It's easier said than done. The only thing is, is uh, he still has to uh, consider. Mm. Okay, try my best not to get caught easily. Hmm. Sniper it is. As in, yes. Izuku has his, his eye through a sniper scope holding a pretty interesting uh, rifle. To the point where, yeah, he can't just leave that there. So hopefully he doesn't miss. First, he sees Miss Yajirozu, as well as Miss Togo. In his mind, he's thinking, oh, are you serious? Oh, they're making this too easy. As they get closer to one another, it is the perfect shot. One shot, two kills, easy. He's adjust for wind. He's made sure that he's out of line of sight, got the best vantage point, all that shit. All he has to do is pull the trigger. And he does. Him just packing up and leaving, but before he does, in the corner of his eye, he sees them both duck. As this green haired woman is just staring right up at him are you shitting me him packing up even faster barely even caring about how he disassembles the rifle and then booking it to the point where yeah that's okay not only did I miss the person who saved them saw me as he just finally getting down the stairs, it's too late. She's right there. And she is 
rightfully pissed. <laughs> Izuku, he knows he's strong. He knows he's fast. The only thing is, uh, which should he go for? On one hand, uh, he already botched the assassination job, so people are already evacuating him. But at the very least, he could possibly get some revenge for a person who ruined his perfect record. The only thing is, he has no idea what this woman's quirk is. And considering how fast she was able to catch up, uh, fighting might be his only real option. He doesn't know if he can outrun her or lose her. So, he turns into a semi saber tooth tiger esque form. Her surprise, him thinking, oh wait, maybe she's gonna be scared and run off. She is not. In fact, she decides to do the same thing. Literally, the same thing. Turning into a female tiger, though, instead of a saber tooth. Zuku thinking, okay, I know I'm not the only one. Uh, it's po impossible for me to have the same, or uh, not have the same quirk as someone else. I mean, look at how many fire quirks there are. But this is, yes, they get to fighting. Only thing is, Izuku, compared to her, she's more ferocious than he is. She's fighting like, yes, you almost killed my kid. This is like a mother tiger protecting her cubs, so this is a lot more deadly than what Izuku was planning on. So he gets cut, as well as this woman, to a point where uh, he claws at her eyes and face and any kind of weak point that she leaves open, luckily. The only thing is, it's not easy. So let's say five to ten minutes go by of this straight on fighting. Each of them are healing as the other one is dealing damage. And only time can truly be the main factor. Izuku having no choice but to go straight for the gut and hope for the best. He lands. Only thing is what really gets this woman to back off is the fact that he actually grabs hold of a pendant. Her being overly protective of it and him now knowing why him about to look at it is like nope screw it I gotta get out of here tossing it <laughs> and yeah for some reason that pendant means more to her than catching him so Izuku is able to leave she's pissed rightfully so but this is around the time like uh, mom are you alright Inko, of course, it's Inko, damn it. Shifting back is... Bastard. What, 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 what happened? Uh, I need to be careful where I hide this. Her opening it, and it's a picture of... Hazashi, Izuku, and Izumi. Uh, what's wrong? Nothing. Seriously, he was wearing a mask at the very least, but weird. What? He had a tiger quarter like me, and you. Well, Mom... Uh, there are other quirks out there similar to ours. <laughs> I know. It's just... Weird. Them walking off. So, how's Himiko and Momo doing? A little shook. Rightfully so, but all in all, they're fine. Now we cut back to Izuku. And... Which, <laughs> Hanzo, Diego, 
So you couldn't kill two rich girls. Hmm. Shame, isn't it? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Shut up before I castrate your ass. Then again, at least they didn't want to worry about your genes getting spread any further. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have a problem with your bloodline ending with you. Listen, little kitten. Don't call me kitten. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do if I... As yes, Izuku grabs him by the throat, slams him down to the ground, and he elongates his claws. All I have to do is slash your throat. With one of my claws. That's it. And you are dead. Do you understand that? I'm willing to let you live a longer life. I can go for your neck, or I can go for your jewels. <laughs> Either way, something of yours is gonna die. There go. Release him. With pleasure, that's not what I meant. You messed up. It happens. Uh, uh. Okay, yeah. Now, if anything, this is just a minor setback. <laughs> yeah, your favorite failed. It seems more than just a minor soldier. He's not wrong. You see. Yeah, it was just one mistake, but it was weird. She she was like me. What? Yeah. She had a shire based quirk like mine. But she was a lot more ferocious, for some reason. I mean, yeah, she's a, she's a, a protect your clients, but this was different. Like she's was really upset. You don't say. Oh, I do say. That's what was so worrisome about it. I mean, I fought and killed people with seemingly limitless bloodlust before. But this, this was something else. It was weird. Hmm. But also... What? It, it felt kind of nice? Explain. Like a mother caring for her child. But uh, this, if anything, I'd like to have someone on my side like that. Diego, Diego, Diego. Come on. We... <laughs> we take care of you, right? Of course. We wouldn't kill for you. You know that, right? Yes. So don't go around thinking about, you know, having someone like that. You have people like that. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, just speaking in my mind. Just thinking out loud. 
Well, I forgive you for your outburst. Now, come on. Let's go. <sighs> I'll find a different job for you to work at. So you can take your mind off this woman. <sighs> Thank you. Later that night. That's not possible. Oh, what? The kid's mother being alive? No. No, no, no. I killed someone in there. I know this. Unless... Come on. Are you sure it was... Yes, yes, it had to be her, unless she survived somehow, or, you know. damn it, do you have any idea what could happen if, if what, if he learns about, then why not kill her now, are you crazy if I do that, he'll be devastated, Diego? No. You know exactly who I mean. And then our heads would be on a chopping block. So, what do you plan on doing? Uh, well, I'm not sure. That's... that's what I'm really worried about considering <sighs> huh? so Hanzo what are they talking about we gotta find this woman and finish her off Dave cannot face her again I don't know how it will end if he did. I'm pretty sure it would end around luck if he survives. That's not what I'm worried about. <sighs> you really think I'm that weak, huh? <laughs> Dude, I thought you were sleeping. Oh yeah, I was, but something woke me up. Come on. Are you saying I'm that weak that I would lose? Well, technically you did lose. You just got lucky. <laughs> Thank you for the input. Huh. When uh, was your last successful job? Two years? <sighs> I've had more success. Yeah, yeah, of course. When I'm there. If anything, ever since I started to really develop my skills, haven't you always been on cleanup duty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cleaning up your mess is my scraps. That's all you get. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. You know what? Yeah, so let, let him have his shot. Uh, what? are you talking about? Come on, if he thinks he can do it, let him do it. I mean, see, now you're thinking. Okay, come on. Just give me the information of this woman. I'll find her and she'll be done. Easy. No. What? I said no. You are not going up against her again. 
You got lucky. No, she did. I didn't expect someone like that. You didn't. I didn't have enough information. Yes, but you have been taught to adapt to the situation, and you didn't. I. I. Uh, doesn't matter. I have your next assignment. You and uh, one that goes by the name of Ayama are supposed to infiltrate one such UA high school. Uh, what? You heard me. Hmm. Fine. So, I just enroll, and then what? Report back. That's it. If anything, get ready for hell to break loose. If nothing else, you're going in as a transfer student, as is he. Recommendations, we push paperwork through. And you passed. Uh, very well. <sighs> if anything, I'm going back to sleep. Good. Now stay asleep until we need you again. Fine. We're not going to talk here from now on. It's not worth the risk. You're too soft on him. No, I'm just making sure he doesn't turn homicidal on us. As in the next day he approaches and... Izuku has his first day at UA. He does me Ayama, which, okay, you are obviously going to be a pain in my ass. What is your quirk anyway? Belly button laser. Yep, you're going to be a pain in the ass. <sighs> Seriously, why do I? As, so, oh, yes, uh, here. A bracelet. Why? Uh, <laughs> just to say, uh, I'm happy that we're friends. We are not friends. Just take it, please. You're nervous. Is something going to happen if I don't take the bracelet? Uh, I don't know. Tell you what, see, I have one too. Uh, hmm. Fine. So you can put it on, it adjusting to his arm. <clears throat> Feels more like a collar. Tell me about it. What? N nothing. Nothing at all. As then, as far as it goes, Bakugo doesn't know Diego, but uh, Bakugo does know Izumi, and, Mo and uh, Izumi knows Momo and Himiko, so they're already friends. Bakugo being seen as more of a nuisance. A friend, though, so yeah, you win some, you lose some. As far as the whole quirk apprehension test, Izuku well, Diego, in this case, does actually know how to use his quirk perfectly. If anything, it's a little suspicious, at least towards Izumi. Like, okay. 
Wow, so you have a quirk that's similar to mine. Yes. I I guess I do. That's interesting. Uh huh. Anything else you want to talk to me about, or is it, or is it just you being a little weird? Uh, we, I, wait, I'm not weird. Good fool me, sweetheart. Uh, you don't have to be a jerk. No. That I can honestly say, yeah, I don't have to. But it keeps annoying people out of my way. What? Did I strike a nerve? Y you? Yeah. What about me? Never mind. Thank you. So, anything else I should know about this school? Besides the fact that we like to be nice to people? Yeah, that's, yes, it depends on if I respect you. What are you trying to say? As it is now, I don't. Respect is earned, and you are a long way from earning mine. Well... If anything, talk to me when you don't have a stick up your ass. <laughs> me. Yeah. I have a stick up my ass. Is, are you sure about that? Because I see in the way you've been ogling me the whole day. Oh, you thought I didn't notice? Oh no, girly, I noticed, alright. Well, newsflash. I don't like annoying women. And you are definitely annoying right now. So, it's sweet. <laughs> but ultimately, no, I'm not digging what you're trying to flaunt. <laughs> Here. Uh, uh, Is yeah, that was awkward. Because the whole those villains, it's pretty much eh. Diego and Izumi versus Bakugo and yeah. You know what? Let's be somewhat generous and say Mineta. As they already don't like each other. When it comes to Bungo's actually making a strategy, he does. He knows how Mineta's quirk works, and therefore, like, I know the best way to utilize this thing. So, if anything, it's Mineta who goes downstairs to meet with them, as he just throws all his sticky balls on the floor. Then the ceiling. Then the walls. Making it so, yeah, you guys ain't going nowhere, huh? Him praising his genius as Okay. Bye. Daryl just walking out of the building. Think everyone thinking like did he just give up? And then they hear something outside. He's gonna be going out and seeing that Yeah, he's using his claws to scale the wall. The side of the building. It he's just Climbing as much as he can, looking through each and every window, seeing like, okay, he's not there, he's not there, and so on and so forth. Meta is shitting bricks. 
You see what I mean? Like, <laughs> of course he wanted to do it the easy way. First soon following. Only thing is, it's right now a competition between the two of them. Izumi being a little bit behind, but ooh, I am not losing to this asshole. Is her mindset. So, if anything, when Izumi does reach the floor, Yeo's already captured Bakugo. And touched the bomb. Him being petty as hell. Much to her annoyance. It's really Izumi's home life. <laughs> Are you sure you just don't like the guy? No. He's annoying. He can be brutish. He can be rude as hell. And, um, I mean, he is smart and whatever, but still, he, he's an utter pain in the ass, Mom. <laughs> yeah, whatever. If anything, all I can say is, uh, I'm too young to be a grandma. <laughs> Mom is not like that. I hate this guy. Yeah, you say that. But if that was truly the case, why not just. Ignore him or forget about him. Don't talk about him at all. Uh, uh, wait, uh, but, but I'm I'm here trying to vent to you about my frustrations. But you, you're here saying I like the guy. Ah, no, no, I don't think so. You sure? Positive. What's that like? Well. We uh, say rude. I can also hear he can uh, stick up for his beliefs, or at least he's stubborn and won't budge on a subject. That's an admirable quality. Uh, how did you get that? As a, when you say brutish, I hear possibly manly. Smart. That's at least a, a easy compliment and whatnot. But still, if you actually like this boy, you might want to tell him before any one of the other girls try to take him away. Who knows? He might not even really be into to females. You never know. Oh, please. Why would I ever want to get his attention? Well, you've been in competition with him. Trying to prove that you're superior? Exactly. I want him to see me as the stronger person. So he can notice you? Uh, what? No! Mm, sounds like you really want him to notice you, dear. Mom, whose side are you on? I'm on your side, dear. Don't worry. If anything, if you really want to get on this Izuku boy's nerves, <sighs> uh, Mom, his name isn't Izuku. Oh, yeah, that's my brother's name, and are you all right? It's just that assassin. I swear next time I see him, I'm going to kill him. Yeah. It seems like you have issues too. But if anything, mine are the ones that matter right now. And you apparently have uh, issues when it comes to dad and my brother being axed. Just be happy that you survived that. 
and so did I. I still don't understand. Why? Why them? It makes no sense. Sorry, Mom, but I don't know either. <laughs>